Welcome back friends. My expert opinion as a licensed home builder here in the state of Michigan is that every home and garage should have gutters on them, also known as seamless eaves troughs. And my other expert opinion is that they should be maintained more often than you would think. So if you wanna see some up close examples of what I'm talking about, let's get this video started. Here's a look at my gutters from a month ago, and I couldn't believe it, I went up on a ladder and they were filled with water. Now I cleaned that strainer right there a year ago, and I don't have a lot of trees around my place, but I ended up having to shake that strainer a little bit just to let that water drain out, because it was just standing still. That was not good. So here, I'll pull it all the way out so you can just see all that build up on it. So you can just quickly tap it on the side of the gutter, and then to thoroughly get it clean, I grabbed this little brush right here. This is on my tool wall. It's by Lincoln Electric. You can find it at Home Depot in the welding section. And I was able to get nice and clean and just push that back in there. If you have a strainer like this, you're going to have to check it pretty frequent. So I had a re-roof done on this house almost a year ago. So right now the gutters are looking pretty good. So on a roof like this, you want to make sure you have really good traction. And I walk a lot slower when I get on a 612. 412, same thing. Anything less than a 412, like a 312, I feel pretty comfortable where I can walk. Biggest thing I can say, if you go on a roof, never walk backwards. So you can see from the new roof right here, just a lot of granules in the eaves trough. So for this project, I'm putting on the Milwaukee M18 Fuel Backpack Vacuum. This really has a lot of suction power. It has a crevice tool that I'm trying out first. This is the first time I've ever used this to clean the gutters. And I decided after using the crevice tool that I would take it off and just see right here, you can see it just really works fast and efficient. But I will put that crevice tool back on in a minute. But in just a short time, you can just really go to town cleaning this up. Now you might be wondering why I'm not using a leaf blower on this. So I did try it, but the granules are clumped together so much it didn't work as well. But you'll see another example where that leaf blower will really come in handy. So as you can see, these gutters right here are nice and clean. So when they're dry like that, you can easily vacuum them out. All right, so that really did a lot of clean. Holy cow, this thing is heavy. This is the heaviest thing I've ever, oh my gosh. It's like a bag of sand. Okay, I came across this downspout screen right here by Frost King. It says it fits standard gutters and downspouts and it's self-cleaning and easily assembly. So let's get a closer look. Okay, so you fold the sides down, snap to the bottom. So it looks like you don't do the back of it yet. So let's, once you snap them in place, it's not going anywhere. Then fold the rear flap down, snap to side and bottom panels. Note, if water flows to downspout from two consecutive directions, use two of these. So you ramp them up this way and ramp them up that way. But everything where I'm doing it, it's all gonna come from the one side and go up here. So hopefully this works better. If it does, I'm gonna invest in these. Oh, I got a crossbar right on top of it. Will that be a problem? Maybe. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna hack that off a little bit and see if it'll still work. All right, I'm back. I cut about an inch off the bottom. Let's we'll see if it fits now. Oh yeah, that was all I needed. So now I'm gonna keep an eye on this. I'm gonna see if it clogs with debris up here or if it lets much stuff through the downspout. Here we are at a different location. This roof has been on there about 10 years, so I don't really have as many of the granules that fall into the gutter. But the issue, as you can see, look at all those pine needles. There's some leaves in there too. There's a woods right behind it, so this thing fills up fast. And I don't actually have a gutter strainer in this one because it doesn't go into the ground. It just, the, you'll see in a second where the water drains. But I didn't realize that I even had a water problem until I saw it leaking over the top and the ground down there was all wet. So it just overflowed from that gutter up above. So what I'm doing is just clean out right there around the downspout, just enough to let the water drain. Just see, what a mess. 
So I'm going to let that dry and come back like another day or so after it dries thoroughly in the sun and bring my leaf blower to it. Otherwise it's a lot of sloppy stuff on the ground and maybe on the siding. So here's what it looks like a few days later. Everything is nice and dry in there. So here's the tool I'm going to use to clean the gutters on the garage. This is a Milwaukee M18 Fuel handheld blower. at the high output 8.0 battery. I'll have a link down below to the Home Depot if you want to check this out. It has some amazing reviews. And this does a great job of getting underneath the pine needles and lifting them out. This is my second pass through here, but let's take a closer look at the actual footage right here. Check this out. I'm getting underneath and there's just large clumps. You gotta be a little patient with it, but it will lift those right out. Here's a view from inside the garage. You can see all that stuff that's flying down. Once it lands on the ground, then I'll have some cleanup to do down there, but if it's nice and dry like this, it's easy to rake up or take a mower over it and just mulch it up completely. And here's the final look at the gutters after everything's cleaned out. It really went fast with that blower cleaning them. Here's a little improvement that I made on the garage downspout. So you may have noticed earlier the water wasn't hitting the splash block. Well, I have this little flex adapter. It's quick and easy to install and it's relatively inexpensive. And now we're all set. I want to take a quick second just to say that you do not have to go up on your roof or up on a ladder to clean your gutters. There are some ways that you can use a handheld blower with an extension tube on it to clean your gutters. I made a couple different videos showing some other products that you can check out and I'll have a link to those videos down below. I just prefer for me to go up on the roof. I'm comfortable up there. If you're not and if you don't want to do it from the ground, there's plenty of people that you can hire that can clean your gutters for you. So I just wanna make sure that you stay safe and go at your own risk. So now that we've solved the problems of the clogged gutters and have them clean up there, it's time to look down on the ground and get a game plan for that so you can get that water away from your house. So in my opinion, the best way to get water from your downspouts is to have it go into a drain underground. And so I have a daylight drain or it's also called a French drain. So before I ever put the sidewalk in here, I rented a trencher and then I have this pipe right here going probably at least 20 or 30 feet away from the house. This right here is something I never have to worry about. If this ever does clog, I do have a great solution. I'm gonna show you real quick. So this right here is a 100 foot jetter hose. This hooks up to your pressure washer. And this is the end right here. So what this does is it shoots one jet forward and three jets back. So in case your daylight drain ever does clog, you can hook this up. This end goes to the trigger part of your pressure washer. This end goes into the daylight part where the drain comes out of the ground. And then it just feeds itself in. And it really, it's amazing the power that comes from this. So I haven't ever seen these in the stores. I actually had to order it online. So. If you want to see a link to this down below, I will provide one. Here's a look at a two-story house where I did some work on the downspout. So the water was going too close to the foundation. So I put this flexible extension on plus the splash block. So it's at least six feet away from the house, if not more. That's the preferred amount. Four feet is the minimum. And since this is really a low traffic area, I just went with this above ground solution, which was just quick and easy. I'm gonna show you another solution that might be better if you have some traffic. All right, so Grayson Air here at Home Depot. We're gonna go inside. I'm gonna show you some solutions to your downspouts and directing the water away from your foundation. So let's go inside and take a look. Is it back there? It's back there. So this is a stealth drain on the Home Depot website. So for just over $20, I think this is a great solution and it has some nice aesthetic appeal to it. And it goes right underneath the downspout and it can extend up to eight feet away. And there's your daylight drain right there. So I think that's a nice effective way to get the water away from your house. All right, friends, so I hope this video has been insightful for offering you some tips on some proper maintenance on the gutters on your house. So if you have any questions, please put them down below. I'll be happy to answer. And if you find this video to be interesting, helpful, and informative, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it, friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.